Alright guys, welcome to another YouTube for scam video. Today we're going to disable the uh, fake engine noise. So it might not be the easiest noise to hear on a phone or on a recording here, but listen to this. That is not the truck itself. This is a, it's a pretty quick truck. It is a V6 EcoBoost, so it does have a little uh, twin turbo on it. It picks up very well, but it doesn't make an engine noise like that. That's more like a V8 sound. So personally, I don't mind that a fake engine noise. It does give it a little enhancement to the drive, you know, whenever you actually do step on it. Um, but just the idea of it not being real is what puts off a lot of people and that's why a lot of people turn it off. So through Forescan, I'm gonna show you what you can do to remove the fake engine noise, okay? All right guys, so we're gonna connect our ELM327 OB to the OBD2 port as always. Make sure it's all the way in. Connect the USB. Let's fix this here. There it goes. Connect it there. Got to make sure the truck is on. Not on on, but just on like on. And then we open up for scan. We're gonna go down here to the very bottom and click on connect. And you're gonna wait for everything to load and connect. Do you have the switch? Yes, we do. And we're gonna click. Oh. Hit OK. All right. See how it says "ready" down here. Now we're gonna go into configuration. All right. So now in configuration, we are going to go into the ACM. I don't see it here, so let's go down some. There it is right there. ACM as build format. I always try to double click, but you have to go down to play. See, run service options, service procedure. Read the warning signs, okay, for scan at your own risk. There's a one thing you should do before changing anything on any module is save all. Save all, call it what you want. This is gonna be a stock ACM for me. And then I like to put the, the date or the just so I can get an idea of when I saved it and all. Okay. All right, so now, in order to remove the the engine noise enhancement, it's going to be the 727-0101. Very first one. The second set of numbers right here, mine is a D2, Zero, zero. I'm going to change that to, to a zero. And we're going to hit right. Okay. 
with the warnings. Okay, turn the radio on. I don't know if you heard the loud thump. Turn everything off. Turn it on. Alright, now we're gonna see. Let's do it here. See if we can hear it here. I don't hear any engine noise. Oops. All right, let's drive around and see what happens. All right, so I'm going to drive around and see what happens, but first let's disconnect everything here. So we're going to stop. Go back to the little car with the eye on it and disconnect. You've been disconnected, so you can X out and go ahead and unplug. Move everything. Now let's go test it out. All right, so there's definitely no noise now. Only the real engine, no augmentation, no enhancements, no fake engine noise at all. Yep. Now I tested the radio and the radio still works fine, no issues, the bass, the trap, everything works fine. Cool. Alright guys, so thanks so much for watching the video. Check out some of these other videos I got. If you have any questions or if you want to see anything different, let me know. Have a beautiful day in Houston.